Breaking news, and this just happened, guys. This just happened according to Tom Pelissero of the NFL Network. The Raiders are not tendering Alec Ingold. Al there, there is a way that you can have what is called an exclusive rights tender on a free agent. Alec Ingold's contract was up. And basically what you could do is you can have a tender where like say, they, we did this with Jalen Rashard, you do a second round tender, which means that you pay them like $3 million and no other person can grab them in free agency unless they match that. Now, Alec Ingold has been all over PR lately and I've always thought this was weird that he was all over PR. He suffered a crazy uh, season ending leg injury. And I always thought, okay, like is this guy going to, since he's significantly injured, but basically his injury, Alec Ingold, is so significant, he would not even be able to play till mid-year. And I made a video about this during the season and nobody cared. I made a video saying, what's the future with Alec Ingold? Because Sutton Smith, our fullback, signed a two-year deal, according to his agency. And I made a video about this, say, hey, Sutton Smith has a two-year deal and it was signed just in December. So that made me think, wow, we are signing this fullback to a two-year deal while Alec Ingold is still on one, you know, a one-year deal. And now, according to Tom Pelissero, right now, what just happened is we are not offering an exclusive rights tender on Alec Ingold. He will be a free agent towards ACL in week 10. Alec Ingold is prepared to be a free agent and, quite honestly, might not uh, be a part of the Raiders in, in the future anymore. So it might be an era ending there. And it really does suck because Alec Ingold was a really high character player, really great effort. I will never, ever ever forget the game uh, against the Chiefs when he straight trucked a DB and knocked off his helmet. And I saw Deuce Gruden on the sideline getting freaking pumped up when he did that. And it, I mean, I got chills when I saw that. You know what I'm saying? Alec Ingold is a straight baller, a straight monster. And this is another example. This is another example. And I want you guys to always remember this. This is another example why injuries just kill players, you know? And it's like, I, I see these comments online, and I know the sickness of how we feel as individuals, the sickness uh, of how we think as people is always articulated online. But pretty much the worst aspects of humanity, I feel like, are on social media, especially Twitter. And whenever I see negative people um, say mean things about people because they get injured and they don't, they don't perform well on their fantasy team, you know, and, and stuff like that, or they don't help their team win because they're injured, and, and, and people tweet negative things at these players and stuff like that, I always just think that's the worst thing in the world. And, and, and I just, like, if you watch this show, you know, you watch the show a lot and you like this show, I really just would encourage you to not do that, to not, you know, it's, it's one thing to make fun of somebody, you know, make fun of Netway because he can't cover, you know, make fun of somebody because they dropped the ball a lot. That's okay. But to, 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 to really talk crap about someone because they get injured like that, and then look, what, look what's happening to Alec Ingold. You know, he, he didn't do anything wrong. He played a fantastic season last year. He's a great fullback in the NFL. He's a great special teams player. And now he's injured, and now he's no longer going to be on his team, the Raiders, the team that gave him a shot when he was undrafted. And it's not his fault, and, and, and that sucks. And just think, just think whenever you, you, know, you say something mean to a player who gets hurt, you know, it could be somebody like Alec Ingold who, who tried to do the right thing, right? So he's got, he trucks people. Dude, a fullback hopping over somebody? Everybody act like freaking, what was his name? Um, I'm blanking on the running back from Antioch. Uh, Najee, Harris. Najee Harris. You know, when he jumped over somebody when he was in Alabama, everybody flipped out. He's so athletic. Alec Ingold, who probably weighs like 40 pounds more than this guy, did the same thing as a fullback. You got to know that dude is super athletic. And by the way, Alex Thompson, thank you so much for that chat, man. I really